Please join me in welcoming the Eastside Memorial High School Jazz Band. I'd have to say that my proudest moment as a music educator was when my band program was honored by the mayor and the city council of Austin. And it wasn't because of what you think. Yeah, the praise is always good, but above and beyond that, it was an acknowledgement that we were doing that something we're amazing here at Eastside. Austin, we're doing it right. Is blessed with many creative musicians whose talents extends to virtually every musical genre. Now, therefore, I, Steve Adler, mayor of the live music capital, do hereby proclaim February 26th of the year 2015 as Eastside Memorial High School Jazz Band Day. Congratulations, guys. This isn't the first time musicians from Eastside Memorial High School have been in the spotlight. In 2013, the Eastside Memorial Panther Band was the special guest of TV personality Rachel Ray at her annual South by Southwest party at Stubbs Barbecue. Back in 2008, Johnson High School was closed due to poor academic performance and a new school, uh, Eastside Memorial High School, was opened up in its place. Now, this is a place where over 90% of the kids here are on free or reduced lunch and Poverty isn't something that you watch and learn about in documentaries. It's something that kids experience and live out each and every day of their lives. My first job here at Eastside was to build some semblance of enthusiasm, school spirit, pride. And I needed to change a long-standing culture of low expectation. These guys are, were just browbeaten and they needed something to be proud of. I had to believe in them so that they can believe in them. In the past, people focused on what we don't have, but I chose to highlight our strengths. I wrote music that was fun and relevant, and instead of crusty old stuff from the 60s, we're playing new things and, and stuff that the kids can get into. We've got music from Tupac, uh, Beyonce, Ice Cube, you name it. But most importantly, I treated these kids like the winners that they are. I don't look at them and feel sorry for them at all. In fact, I treat them like they're the best in the game, and I, and I expect amazing every single day. And they certainly don't disappoint. All right, we are recording. I think. Yes. Shockingly, what we do here at Eastside really isn't all that innovative, or at least it shouldn't be. I do all the things that anybody would do if they were teaching at one of those other schools on the, on the other side of town or the other side of the tracks. I use tried and true, proven methods to give my kids every opportunity for success that they can grab onto. But the difference is that, sadly, nobody did that for these kids before. People used to always tell them what they, what they couldn't do. And all I say is that you can and you will. Then I back it up by doing whatever it takes to ensure that they have that window for success. Because I can't ask them to give their all if I'm not willing to lead by example. I'm not just a music teacher. I hate being pigeonholed into that category like that. I'm blessed with the gift of music and I'm even more blessed to be able to share that gift with young people. I'm not really in the business of churning out just musicians. My business is about churning out incredible young people who go out there and change the world using music as the medium. Weekly grade checks, crisis counseling, you know, rides to and from school, even meals when they wouldn't otherwise eat. That's all part of the gig, man. This band family we have is a safe place to laugh or cry or scream or shout and express all the normal emotions and feelings that, that teenage kids have, but even more so in this population of kids from low socioeconomic status. I've had other band directors come and watch my rehearsals and they'll say to me things like, it's crazy how you're always running around and I don't know how you do that kind of stuff and you couldn't pay me enough to do what you're doing over here. And my response would be, why the heck not? Don't all kids deserve to be loved or respected, yeah, supported even? I mean, kids are kids and they all need the same basic fundamentals. It doesn't really matter what color their skin is or how much money they've got in their bank account. What matters is that someone believes in them and is willing to do whatever it takes to get them to realize their potential to be amazing.